We are getting new perspective about a vicious dog attack that left a man seriously hurt. It wasn't just one dog, but two. And when police arrived, they fired several shots, killing one of the animals. Well, tonight we are hearing from a neighbor who tried to jump in and stop that attack. Action News reporter Dan Cuellar live for us now in North Philadelphia uh, at Temple University Hospital with the details. Dan. Shari, believe it or not, the victim is now in stable condition. What they believe saved him is police put tourniquets on both of his arms to stop the bleeding until they could get him to the hospital. There were also a couple of brave souls who witnessed the human slaughter and jumped in to try and help. I hear somebody screaming really loud, say, help me, help me, they're going to kill me, they're going to kill me. The 50-year-old man who asked that we not show his face quickly looked out the door to see the horrific attack captured on surveillance video at 6 in Tioga about 4.30 this morning. A man being ripped to shreds by two vicious dogs. So he grabs a beam level stick and runs outside to try and get the dogs off him. So I just start swinging into the, the dog legs. A woman also tried to help as the dogs, a 100 pound bull mastiff and a pit bull were ripping chunks of flesh from the 57 year old victim. The man was screaming. Yeah. He was screaming for his life. That dog was eating him alive. The dog turned against me and he started like trying to bite me so I just keep fighting with him. The Good Samaritans say the bull mastiff had sharp slicing teeth and very powerful jaws. To them, this was no pet. It was an animal. It was a monster. It was something from a TV scene. Like, it was crazy. You scared? Yeah, I was scared. I was ready to jump into a car. Finally, they hear the sound of police sirens moving in. When It's when I see the police coming, or the police car, so I say, oh, thank God. Police had to shoot the dogs, killing the bull mastiff. The pit bull got away. The victim rushed to the hospital in very critical condition. Residents had nothing but praise for the three officers who responded. For you to be able to come out and shoot two dogs that's chewing on top of a human being and just hit the dogs and not hurt that human being, you're awesome. Police now say the victim is a homeless man whose first name is Rafi Al. The owner of the dogs has not come forward, and police continue to try and track that person down to figure out how in the world these dogs got loose and what in the world they were doing roaming the streets.